Charging by induction can be summarized into four phases. One, approach. Two, polarization. Three, grounding. Four, isolation. Before we discuss the phases of charging by induction, let us first describe the objects involved in the process. A charged object, either positive or negative. A neutral object to be charged. And another object, electrically neutral, will act as a ground. In the approach phase, a charged object will be brought near, but not in contact with a neutral object. Despite of the space between these two objects, the charged object can still repel or attract the electrons in the neutral object leading to the next phase, which is the polarization of the neutral object. When an object has a positive overall charge on one side and a negative overall charge on the other, it is considered to be electrically polar. In the context of charge, polarization can refer to the separation or rearrangement of electric charges within an object or material in response to an external electric field. When an external electric field is applied to an object, the electrons within the atoms or molecules of the material may shift, causing an uneven distribution of charges. The movement of electrons, as opposed to protons, is the primary factor contributing to the polarization effect, influencing the overall charge distribution within the material. It is important to note that in polarization phase, there is no electron transfer from the object to another, so the object is still electrically neutral and only the ends or sides of the object have opposite charges. Grounding involves connecting the polarized object to the Earth, or a large conducting body. This connection allows electrons to flow to or from the second neutral object, stabilizing the charge on the polarized object. If the charge in the first phase is positive, electrons from the ground object will transfer to the polarized object, making it negatively charged. Conversely, if the charged object in the first phase is negative, electrons from the polarized object will be pushed further to the ground object, making the polarized object lose electrons and have a positive charge. Because of the movement of electrons from and into the polarized object during the grounding phase, it can now be considered as charged object. Isolation in charging by induction refers to the separation or isolation of the charged object from the charged source and the ground object, leaving the depolarized object in phase two as permanently charged. If you enjoyed the content of this video, don't forget to show your support by leaving a like. If you have any questions or suggestions for future videos, please feel free to drop a comment below, and I'll do my best to create content that resonates with your interests. Thank you!